were talking yesterday about uh, Tyra Williams having to maybe move around the formation more than originally planned, run some different routes. How, how has he been dealing with kind of expanding and maybe changing his role as season's gone He's on? been great. I think we've got a really, I think I mentioned it before, we feel like as a coaching staff, we have a real intelligent uh, group of players, uh, you know, at every position, to be honest with you. Um, so certainly with changes that we made in personnel here in the first three weeks, now he's taken on that role again of a move guy that will play him at the X and the Y and the Z and sometimes the F. Um, but again, we're, we're trying to uh, constantly trying to find a way to get the ball in the hands of our playmakers, and we consider him one of our playmakers, so we'll continue to do that. How do you think that uh, Hunter and Pro has kind of adjusted and started his career? It's good. Again, it's not easy for a rookie at any position, but um, we're happy with where he's at. And certainly, we're looking to get more production out of him as well. How did Incognito play? Very well. Uh, for being out for the extended period of time that he did, he, he, we thought he played well, and uh, he's kind of everything that we thought he was when we signed him. Can he be a difference maker for your O-line? We still think so. We think, you know, he, you know, he hadn't played, obviously, in a year when we, we signed him. So there was concern maybe about wear and tear or the age factor. but. Uh, He's come back and looks just as strong as he did in his Pro Bowl year. So he's uh, he's uh, acclimated very well to you know the new team and and getting a chance to be on the field again. Now that uh, JJ is back, what does he bring to the offense? What does he add to your guys' attack? Speed, really. We need speed. Uh, certainly, uh, in losing AB, that was a, a huge uh, you know part of the reason in signing AB was. Uh, the speed factor they would bring to the team, and we think JJ brings a tremendous amount of speed. Do you thought he was when he got here, JJ? Is he a guy you uh, in our opinion, as a coaching staff, yeah, we, uh, you know, there's certain cer- certain things that uh, others do well, but uh, there are a lot of things that we think he still does very well. How's Trevor Davis coming along just since he's been here? Good. I know it's been a whirlwind for him. We, you know, Edgar Bennett's been meeting with him, you know, as much time as possible. That's, that he's been here and, uh, you know, he hadn't been spent much time at the hotel. He's been here at the office, so uh, trying to get him up to speed. But again, he's an intelligent player, and uh, you know, we'll get a chance to see him a little bit this weekend. Is there any one factor over all the others that's pre- prevented you from being consistent over the last, I don't know, let's say, let's say from about the first 10-0 against the Chiefs, they're about all the possessions from them to the, to the end of the next yeah, I mean, we're constantly looking at what we're doing, self-scout, uh, you know, what we do in terms of our self-scout and, and where we're putting our players and how we best put them in a position to be successful. And, and you're certainly looking at that all the time as a coaching staff. And uh, we've had some changing parts, uh, as you know, but um, we're, I mean, that's part of it is finding the consistency. And uh, that's what we're striving for really on a daily basis here. So uh, we, we'll change things up. We've changed things up in how we practice. and. Uh, meeting times, uh, we changed this year. Our schedule has changed, so we're always certainly searching for the answer to that. And then you look at the Minnesota game, and look, once, you're, once you're down 21 to nothing, doesn't a lot of stuff just go out the window right there? Yeah, it becomes an issue. Obviously, it's a long football game, but that you know that's you know the importance of starting fast. And I think you know you'd mentioned that a couple of weeks ago about our fast starts and our openers, and uh, you know we didn't do that this past weekend against Minnesota, and we dug ourselves a hole, and that's certainly those are difficult to come out of. Uh, but starting fast is a priority that that we always put on our players. Before the season, you and John both said you wanted to attack the ball down the field more often. It uh, hasn't really happened yet. Is that what do you think is holding you guys back from doing that? So uh, you know, we're, believe me, if we had those ends right now, it would have solved. But we're certainly looking for ways to generate explosive plays. I think we all know that, the importance of explosive plays and not turning the ball over. Uh, so, you know, week in, week out, uh, we'll continue to find ways to try and push the ball down the field more often and with success and uh, without risk. Uh, but, you know, that's something that we'll, we've looked at here through these first three games and we realize that uh, we can get better at it.